Thank you for watching this how-to video. Today we are going to be talking about how to set up your VFI pump module for VFI base or VFI HD systems. First, before you start, please make sure you have watched and completed your general planter setup for this planter. Next, navigate to the setup button and select the equipment tab on the right hand side. Under the equipment tab, select system to add a system. Select liquid from the menu to add a liquid system to this planter. Under the liquid system, select add product to begin configuring. In this case, we are gonna select starter. Once starter has been added, press back to continue the configuration. On the main setup screen, select systems from the right hand menu. Under the systems tab, we should see starter. Select starter to set up the VFI system hardware. On the top of the screen, we have a chart showing row locations for the planter. At the bottom, we have an add hardware button. This is where we will add the hardware for this liquid system. I recommend configuring your system from the bottom to the top. And what I mean by that is start downstream at the row at the lowest piece of hardware adding your flow meter or your flow sense at the row and working our way up to our HDs if we're controlling sections and then finally up to the pump controller for VApply base modules. This will allow the 2020 to identify if this is a VApply HD system or a planter-wide controlled VApply base system. This identification process allows us to automatically hide set up options that are not needed for one control style or the other. This will help clean things up for your customers and make it easier to install all the way through. Currently, most features used in both planter-wide and VApply HD systems will show, but this process will continue to be improved moving forward. If you have not already set up FlowSense or a flow meter or VApply HDs, please refer to those specific setup videos before proceeding. In this example, we are setting up a VApply HD with FlowSense product. You can see I've added my three HDs for section control of four rows each, as well as FlowSense on every single row up here in my profile. Now I will go ahead and add hardware to select my VApply rate control module. My VApply rate control module will then be selected using the jumpers that I'm using plugged directly into the VApply module. In this case, we are using the first black can jumper directly into my VApply base module. And on this planter, we are plugged in at the PDM. If you are using more than one VApply rate module, make sure you select every row that you have a rate module plugged into. Hitting continue will now let me go in and assign rows to the VApply module as it's controlling. On this 12 row planter, our pump is controlling product to all 12 rows, and so I will select one through 12 for my rate control module. Again, if you have multiple rate control modules, you will need to toggle between the two and make sure you set just the number of rows assigned to that rate module. Further settings for setting up your product are over here on the right hand side of the screen. As you can see, we see some items here that would only be used for a VApply base system. I will ignore those at this time and move through to just my pump control options for a VApply HD section system. The PWM control set point is the manual rate that would be used if our PWM control style was set to constant PWM. For all other systems, leave the control style set to the default disabled to allow us to automatically control to the pump cal factors that we enter below. If you have already ran a manual pump cal or an automatic pump calibration from 2020.0 software, enter your minimum and maximum PWM values as well as the minimum and maximum pump gallon rates on this screen. My 30% minimum and 50% maximum will now correlate to 5 gallons per minute minimum 
and 10 gallons per minute maximum for my pump calibration. The max pump pressure is used to give us alerts if we exceed 60 PSI in this case. Motor control gain is only used for V-apply base and will be ignored during this setup. Our minimum and maximum PWM is the minimum and maximum complete control for the pump. If you are installing V-Apply Base, I have removed my V-Apply HDs to set up a planter-wide controlled pump with flow sense row monitoring. In this case, we have the same setup with the first black jumper plugged in at the PDM, controlling all 12 rows with this pump. You will now see that I have additional values on the right hand side here for base control. Gear ratio is the ratio of the driven pump divided by the driver motor. How many turns does your motor have to make in order to spin your pump one revolution? For our liquid ratio, we are going to display how many gallons your positive displacement pump produces each revolution of the pump. This information is found in the pump manufacturer's owner manual. The motor encoder is the number of pulses your shaft speed sensor detects per revolution of your driving motor. And finally, pump PWM frequency is the frequency needed to control the solenoid on your PWM valve. Once you've selected these values and hit done, we can move on to our calibration. For information on how to run the base calibration, please refer to the base calibration process in the 2020 Gen 3 Liquid Setup Guide.